Hey everyone, this is uh, me. Thanks for watching my channel. And I had to um, hurry up and do a quick video. I think I'll upload this video before my other two videos I have. And I ask you to forgive me because they are out of focus. Sometime during the, um, most of the time during the video, I don't know what happened. I, I needed the counter in the bathroom where my lighting is better. And so, I apologize. Anyway, I had to do a um, another protective style. My hair grows out really fast when it's up. And so, the uh, puffy twist that I had in the video that I'll upload, you'll see they held up well. But, they were coming to loose. The braid was really um, growing out in the back. So, I had to do it over. Anyway, I said, let me get on in here real quick. My battery's going to die on my camcorder, so I'm going to do it this fast, this first section. And I'm currently doing um, a protect, another protective style. I got my hair braided. This is the braid pattern that I had her braided in this three braids here, three braids here. So I think it's 20 in the front from ear to ear. And then she did eight back here. So um, I'm using the Free Trust bulk go go curl and it's a number four this is my first pack of hair so in here is my first pack of hair i haven't started a second pack but i will have to what i am currently using is i moisturize the strands of the synthetic hair each strand before i latch hook it on i am using um Uncle funkle Uncle uncle funky's daughters extra butter and I'm using that because right now that was the only moisturizer that I had I also use wet and wavy frizz free detangling spray now I'll purchase this in Texas um, which you'll see in another video of a couple of product calls I have I don't know if I include this in here but I purchased this I don't know if it's in my local beauty supply store but I'm gonna have to find out I am affiliated or not affiliated but I kind of um, I'm on a page on Facebook, Tawana, Crochets by Tawana. So she did recommend Soft Sheen Detangler for Weaves. I did order that. I had to order that on Amazon because, of course, they don't have it here. She also um, recommended Pantene Relax. It's a oil-based moisturizer. But you should use an oil-based moisturizer with this synthetic hair. Um, don't use a gel because it's going to dry it out. I have used coconut oil too. Coconut virgin um, coconut oil will penetrate this synthetic hair. I use it mainly on the kinky hair when I'm doing kinky twists. Um, I don't too much do it on this hair because I don't want it too shiny. But if you can get an oil based moisturizer, that will work. Also, Smooth and Shine has a tea tree olive oil wrap and mousse. I was only able to find mousse initially I do have that and that's what I'm going to, have to put on here but I did get on Amazon and I was able to find the soft sheen don't know the smooth and smooth and what did I say anyway um you know what I said uh, tea tree and olive oil mousse and wrap not just mousse but mousse and wrap um so I'll be ordering that my uh, camcorder died so um I was talking about the smooth and shine wrap and mousse uh, it's smooth and shine tea tree oil wrap and mousse that's a good one the one that I'm gonna have to use is just the mousse now they have it at my local beauty supply store um, a Walmart or whatever it's a little bit firmer the wrap and mousse is a little bit uh, lighter of course um, crochets are out I mean everybody's doing crochet braids now but this is the latch hook that I use I made the braid smaller up here because of the style that I'm looking for. You can basically braid your hair back. I feel, in my personal opinion, and I do this on the side. I make, you know, I have clients. I make money from it. Depending on what hair you use will determine your front, how you want your front. There are some styles, like I told you, with my puffy twist, when I did the puffy twist, I should have had her do it at a slant, but it was straight back. I mean, it worked, but like with this, 
I have it at this slant because of the way that I want it to fall. When I'm dealing with this kind of hair, because I'm natural, my edges will begin to curl and they're not relaxed. So I don't really want my edges out. So with the way that it's going to fall, it's going to kind of, you know, come around my face so my edges won't come out. So it's all going to be, it's all going to be depend on what you want it to look like in the front. As you can see where, where I got started, the back is going to be what it is. I mean, you're just filling it up. But, hey, you just try to, I just try to put braids in a person's hair that's easier for them to get to their scalp, to moisturize, and easy for them to take down. Instead of having this whole complicated, you know, braid pattern that they have to take down. That's just my personal opinion. But, you know, you could do whatever you want. So, anyway, this is what it looks like so far. And like I said, when I'm done, I'll put mousse on it. I'm still going to do a finger with the part back here to about up here, then fill it up some more, and then I'm going to cut it um, shorter. So that's going to be that look. The only thing that I wish I could have done was gotten a couple, but was gotten, was, I can't talk. And it's late. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning my time in California. But anyway, um, I should have got a number 30, but they didn't have it, so I can have the color in the front. But it's next time. So basically, my pieces are a little bit bigger when you're dealing with the bigger braids. They're a little bit bigger. Up here with the smaller braids, they're smaller. I'm working with pieces like this. Maybe I'll add a little bit more hair to here. I am so sorry. So this right here is the last piece from my pack, right? So... The only thing I hate about the free dress is that it has that glue, the stiffness. It has the glue, and it's more pieces than, you know, nor, than, there's more pieces with it than it is without it. So I always go to the ends, and I break it apart like this. And yes, it's frizzy, it's frizzy, but it's okay. So then what I'm going to do is get some of my moisturizer. And then I'll take that and I'm going to put my moisturizer on here. Or your oil, whatever you use, and moisturize it. Make sure that those are any glue, the pieces, whatever. If anybody knows how to get rid of the glue out of this hair, I would really appreciate it if you could let me know. So then I'm going to separate it because actually I'm going to use this piece right here because this is about the size that I'm using. And you say, well, now it's frizzy. Yes, it is. All you got to do is spray a little bit of this. Bring it through. See? You can put a little bit more moisturizer if you want. There's no frizz no more. And it's going to bounce back once you do it. So let me see. I'll do one for you. So I'm here. So I'm going to bring it in here. I'm going to hook it. I've shown this before. Latch it. Bring it through. And then you're going to make sure when you take the hoop out that this is it's not twisted. So you're going to make sure it's straight. And make sure your ends are even. And then you're going to loop. Loop. I do a three loop. Bring it down. Tighten it and then I reinforce it with a knot. I just take the two pieces and I will knot it. Now, some people will take two pieces and use it as their reinforcement with the knot, but I just take it and I knot it. And see, that's the result. You want me to show you another one? I think I can show you another one. Here we go. Actually, this can be two. 
and somebody asked me one of my subscribers and hey thanks everybody for my new subscribers thank you for subscribing but one of my subscribers asked me on my singleese uh twist video how did i uh determine the um, you know i think the question was how was i consistent with the amount of hair where my twists were the same size um i look at it like a blind person you have to feel you have to feel your way through it so when you get started and you kind of know what the thickness of each one is you're, you'll start to feel it it's like a sense I guess if I can explain it right you'll feel it um, and know whether oh I think it's too much hair or I don't think I have enough hair it, it, the more you do it you'll that's all that's the only thing I can way I can describe it really but I just think you'll be able to feel it. I don't have my scissors in here. Oh, I got some scissors. So I just put a little bit more moisturizer if it's not, if the frizz isn't out. And then cut that. There you go. And then we're going to go again. I'm right here. At the top, you're going to close them together. In the back, you could do a finger width apart. Take the needle again, stick it through. Latch. You're going to pull it through. Now remember, make sure it's sh straight and it's not twisted. And then you twist. And then you twist. Three times. Come through. Take those two strands, reinforce your knot. There you go. And this is the one last one. Now, this can have a little bit more hair in it, but we're okay because I think I'm going to put it at the beginning since I like this hair smaller. See that? Okay. So. This is not as much hair, and I know because I could feel it. If <laughs> I could put a little bit more here, so because of that, I'm gonna go to the beginning, and I'm gonna put it there. And when if you have smaller braids, it's just my recommendation that you use the smaller latch hook. Don't use the big the big uh, latch up but the smaller one I could feel that I didn't have it all the way through I was using my laptop screen to kind of see but I could feel it you you kind of when you're doing your own hair you have that's the only con that's the only way you have to use those other senses that you have you know those five senses because you can't see especially in the back so you use those senses so it's latched on, come through, and make sure that it's straight, and you're going to come through once, loop, twist, this is the third time, twist, twist, come through, and we're going to reinforce it with a knot. Voila. So. I don't know how to slow it down when I edit this video. I'll try to slow it down in slow motion for you. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to finish this in the morning. And another thing, real quick before I go. Beef, it is so important, so imperative to prep your hair before you get started. I started doing my hair about 10-ish. 11, 12, 1, 2. I'm... Four hours later, I'm here, and I'm here because I have to stop every time and separate each piece of hair. So, in order for you, I usually can get this done in about two hours, but that's because I've set and I separated every piece of hair that I was going to use, and I'm just picking it up, putting it in, picking it up, putting it in, it's so much easier. So, what I'm going to do in the morning, well, it's already tomorrow. So happy Valentine's Day, V Day to everybody. Tomorrow's my anniversary too. So anyway, um, got sidetracked. 
so I'm going to separate the second bag and pull my pieces out, moisturize them, and then I just put pick them up and go. Then I'll be done with the style. I'll cut it and then I will be back so I can show you all the finished results. Okay, bye. But I use the mousse, but it. May